Good morning and welcome to Writer Greg on Twitch.tv. Glad that you could make it and we already have quite a good conversation going on in the chat. Thank you everyone for joining this early morning, midday, or late evening, whichever may be the most appropriate that James uh, would write and, and Mushy Tangerine. And a big thanks to Wordslayer2020 for the host. Glad that you could all make it and looking forward to a great day on the stream. And, <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mushy Tangerine, for contributing to the one million dollars one million lemon challenge oh james you are that's correct you are also hosting uh i missed that notification uh i bounce in and out while the countdown's going i'm still trying to get things done <laughs> all right so glad that uh, everyone is here let's no 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 that, that was a that was a freudian slip a financially freudian slip yep I wish it was a million dollars. Anytime anyone wants to give me a million dollars, we'll talk. Okay, so we are we are at 55.2% of the way to our 1 million lemon challenge, getting ready for NaNoWriMo. That is good to go. All right, so this morning, as we do almost every morning, let's start off with a thought of the morning. This quote comes from William Faulkner. A writer needs three things, experience, observation, and imagination. Any, oh, excuse me, any two of which at times, any one of which, okay, any two of which at times, any one of which can supply the lack of the others. Okay. Sorry for my fumble on that, but, you know, this is a good idea. We don't need to have every arrow in our quiver. We don't need every club in our golf bag. We don't need absolutely everything ready before we write. Sometimes we can start with what we have and then we grow into the next. However, I think that Mr. Faulkner has missed something every sting in our bowl. I, sure, string on our bow. Okay, there we go. Um, I think he is missing something. I think he's missing one of the most important things. Determination. Commitment. Uh, stick to -itiveness. Any goal that you want to accomplish that is worth anything is going to be hard. And that's what we need. We need the, the determination, the drive, the motive. No, 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 forget motivation. I'm not talking motivation. I'm talking about showing up every day about determined progress every single day. Because if we wait for motivation to accomplish our goals, we will wait forever. There needs to be some sort of grit, some sort of determination. Is that, I mean, that's the best word I can think of to be able to accomplish our goals and an element of sacrifice because what we procrastinate with is going to be what we accomplish. You know, I have a, a little three match game on my phone. I'm embarrassed to say what, what a high number of level I am on in that little three match game. Be and what is gonna make me happy at the, when I'm on my deathbed, that I was at level 1000 on this phone game or that I have a book on my shelf. Which is going to make me happier? And I guarantee you, it's only through determination, hard work, that we'll get there. So yes, experience, observation, and imagination are great for writers. But you need that determination, hard work, and daily, daily commitment to get 
what's in your brain into reality. All right, good morning, Kit. I am determined to get my kids onto school this morning. Ugh. Yeah, Friday mornings are difficult for me because those are the days they're at home. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, and, and that was in my writing memes, memes writing channel on Discord, if you would like to have a copy of that. All right, so let's get rid of that. The alarm has gone off for the first sprint of the morning, so let's jump over to the, start that off. And there we go. Let's turn the music up. Turn the microphones off. I'll see you in 10.
All right, there we go. Welcome back from the sprint. How did everybody do? All right, we did have a new follower, Eva3311. Thank you so much for the follow and joining us. Uh, we were in the middle of the word sprint, so uh, glad that you could make it. Let's see. Um, ah, uh, Hun James had 101 words on animal husbandry. Yeah, okay, so earlier, James, you asked a question in um, Wander is the, you know, what is the word, verb to walk aimlessly? Well, it, it definitely depends on what you want to, you know, what kind of visual you want to use. Ah, Mushy Tangerine, 123 words on a short story. Very good if you know you are they drifting like the wind are they mulling along are they meandering are they you know there's so many more words than wander that you could use to describe it but if in an article you're right you probably want to stick uh, to a more straightforward word but if you were to put that into a fictional prose i would probably use a more descriptive verb that would invoke how they wander in the field. Animals that are kept free range are kept in fenced areas so that they don't go too far as to wander onto the premise of either of the two power plants or into the woods if they are not allowed. Yeah, very good. Um, I would probably um, not use, you use the word kept twice. I would probably reword it so that you'd only need to use it once. Um, you may consider shortening or dividing that into multiple sentences saying, yes, they're kept in a free range area. That's one thought. And then the second thought is the reason why. Uh, you know, it does work as one sentence, you know, combining those two ideas together. But if it, it gets too long and too complicated with the uh, different phrases that you have, you may consider breaking that down into two to keep the sentences simpler. All right. Cool. All right. Yep. Okay, so we are about to start another sprint. Make sure that you save your work, which to be fair is my usual problem. Yeah, sorry if I overly brought that idea up if you're working on a first draft, but that does, um, you know, that's something that we can fix on the second, third, fourth draft. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, so we are going to be uh, going into another sprint probably any second now. Okay, so, uh, yeah. There it is. Okay, second sprint of the morning. Let's get this started. And. There it is. Okay. Turn the music up. Microphone's off. I'll see you in 10.
and there we are with the end of the sprint and the extremely well-timed raid by Siobhan the Rider. You just love coming in with the apl thundering applause. Thank you so much for the raid and glad that you could come. DM Stretch, Siobhan, Makaro, Aaron Reed, Dinosaur Bob, Walking Dead Lover. Uh, yep, it is the timing is awesome. Nathalia Books, Daz the Cat, awesome. Thank you so much for joining the raid and being here. You did uh, miss a, some lovely research on rigor mortis. And yeah, James, I yeah, your research on pigs was fine. I researched rigor mortis because, you know, when you're talking about dead bodies, you need to know how long has rigor mortis been there. And... Uh, it's uh, good to know. All right, James, 60 words on animal husbandry. Slaughter and castration. Okay, you can talk about slaughter and castration. I'll study about rigor mortis. All good. <laughs> All right, Javon, 2,448 words last night. Excellent. Chrysalia, ah, the food, returned from a food skirmish, and now I'm here. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here to... Uh, be a part of the creativity. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is good. Okay. Yum. All right, so glad that everyone could make it and be a part of here. Oh, still waking up. I totally can understand that. I do want to... Uh... Changing over to paper for more plotting. Good. Oh, Chrysalia, thank you for the contribution to the One Million Lemon Challenge. Coffee infusion working here. Good. Aaron, thanks for the contribution. I just put a link into the chat, the designated category for creative writing and related content. This is a place where you can upvote a feature request for Twitch to have writing being added as a category. They took away creative, and so now I'm streaming under the art categorization, but here is a place where you can upvote the request to have writing, creative writing added as a category. And so I would uh, love the support. It's not my issue, uh, but it's one that I support and would love to see implemented on Twitch. All right, Aaron, yes, thanks for the contribution. Scribe, welcome. Been a while, glad to have that your computer is back in functional. Um, castration, slaughter, rigor mortis. It is going well. It's a great, it's a typical morning of, it is a typical morning for writers researching normal stuff. You know, that's, it's, it, Dear FBI, please do not search my internet history. <laughs> uh, oh, the computer is still dead. This is the new laptop. Ah, okay. Hey, we got Kahuna the Elder over his challenge goal. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, Kit, thank you for the contribution. E Songbird, good morning. What was Kahuna the Elder's challenge? He streams during my work day, and so I, I don't always get to lurk over there. Oh, that's true. It's not the FBI, it's the NSA that I need to worry about. That That is true. <laughs> double the Kahuna, double the fun. Okay. All right, so glad that everyone can be. FBI points to me googling Al Qaeda terrorist manual. What's this? It's research, I swear. <laughs> yeah. There's a three hour break after your stream as Delian canceled his stream. Unless someone steps up, 
I'll quickly get a shower and step in for at least some of it. He streams, his streams will now be two hours going forward. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Oh, you haven't settled on a map software yet? Nope. Okay. Cool. That is fun. All right. Well, the alarm has gone off. It is time for us to start another sprint. Uh, DM Stretch, if you're interested in taking that um, slot, feel free. Uh, where is my timer? There's my timer. Those are some good options there, eSongbird, for software. All right, so there is the timer. Let's turn up the music and let's get to work. And microphone's off and I will see you in 10.
All right, there we go. How did everybody do? James, 25 words. I suspect my animal husbandry article will have spoiler buttons all through as it to hide tables and tables of research. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that's a good use of the things available. Yes, the timing between the sprint timer and the music is sometimes eerily coordinated. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Nathalia, 134. Mushy Tangerine, 183. Dazzle Cat, uh, eight lines on paper. Kit, got my kids into his art class. How did I do? Well, I finished scene 20, the analysis for scene 22 in that sprint, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, this, in my world, the, in this Sleeping Beauty story, there was a wall for the castle, and then because of the curse, there was this um, dark forest, is what I'm calling it. It's the cursed brambles that, that pop up and killed everyone in, in it. And then there's a second wall that was built by the people who were not frozen in time for a hundred years. So I have this weird corridor of castle walls with this literal death trap of deadly cursed foliage that is in between. And they were ex exploring it and they found dead bodies of the watchman who died when the curse and that's why i needed to study rigor mortis two sprints ago because i some of the bodies are going to be skeletons because they were outside the barrier but in in the cursed plants and some are going to be inside and technically technically they died only a couple of hours ago and so they would be in full rigor mortis and this is just to pair, you know, do a little bit of world building, comparing and contrasting. And yes, this will be a great place to have the pigs to be able to dispose of all of the bodies. Thank you, James, for bringing that back. All right, scribe, no words, but lots of links of inspiration stuff for Inks e Songbird's world building challenge and some content links for art community I run online. Excellent. So that's why you needed to study that. A likely story. <laughs> of course. Because everybody loves starting their Wednesday morning with researching rigor mortis. I swear, Mr. NSA, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, the, the things, I mean, rigor mortis, what makes Wednesdays wonderful. I don't know how many products you can make from a pig. I just think of footballs and glorious bacon. All right, there's the alarm. That was a fun break. Okay, so let's get back to it. There's the click, there's the start. All right, so let's turn the music up. Let's turn the microphone off. I will see you in 10.
All right, there we go. Yes, I'm glad that you all enjoyed when uh, Coda came in. He, um, the, my wife and kids are off to work in school, and so they leave. They open the office door, and he can now come in. But I needed to um, see. I'm out of doggy treats now. Uh, I needed to bribe him to stay in my office so they could sneak out the front door. So uh, that's yes, and no dog butt in the face. That is a good thing. Um, that yeah. <laughs> All right, E Songbird, have a great day at work. Enjoy the singing. All right, well, Nathalia, 107 words. Coffee Quills is working on website updates. 26 words, BB code for reference sections for James. Dazzle Cat, erased five lines, wrote six. Erased five again, wrote another five. Total, six lines. You know, that is sometimes just how it goes. Good. All right. Making some great progress here. Ah, the killer rabbits. They're doing better. Um, yeah, they're doing better. We're, um, it's, Trying to train an, a hyper puppy to get along with snack-sized rabbits is turning out to be a little bit more of a challenge than we had anticipated. Uh, yeah, sure, pigs may be more murderous, but uh, it's the uh, it's the uh, trying to get puppies and dog uh, puppies and rabbits to get along is. A little bit more of a change. Ah, yes, the teeth. We, we did get the teeth ground down. He, uh, Charlie is uh, eating much better. Oh, it's not surprising. Surprising at all. I mean, he's a hound. I mean, he's six mixtures of very big hunting dogs, and so trying to get that out of his system is uh, going to be going to be hard. Uh, yeah, but. He's a, he's a good big boy. He's a big boy. And, oh, he had his six-month birthday last week. Uh, the 20th of September. So he was bar born March 20th. Um, so, yep, September 20th is was his six, uh, six months. And he's huge. I mean, he will uh, rip your arm socket off when you put his leash on. Hey, Moonflower! You woke up. Wonderful. Glad to have you here. All right. Yep. All right. So, um, Hope everyone has saved, okay, hope everyone is saving their work or has saved their work and uh, is getting ready for the next sprint. We have two more sprints left for this morning uh, on our uh, on our schedule. And then uh, it looks like we've been working out who's gonna be taking over the next uh, couple of hours in the Anvilite Streamer Core. Uh, looks like we'll be going to Aaron Ree, uh, who will be on Sable Aurelia's, Aurelia's channel. Your alarm has been weird. I'm sorry that you've... Oh, that... Yeah. Ah, thank you, Moonflower Writer, for the contribution to the One Million Lemon Challenge. All right, let's get this timer going. Yeah, I and I am I am happy to be here waking all of you up in the morning with fun, energetic 
epic music and writing sprints. Aaron will be up in a few, all right? So let's turn the music up. And let's turn the microphones off. I'll see you in 10.
right, there we go. Microphone back on. How's everybody doing in that sprint? I was able to save my daughter's bicycle hem helmet from becoming a chew toy. Actually, a little of it did become a chew toy, and... <sighs> 18 lines, Dazzle Cat coming back. Mushy Tangerine, 161 words. Nathalia, 180. I was able to finish scene 23. Uh, it was a very short one. Did not write BB code. Totally. Yes. I am a super dad. Superhero Greg. Rescuing stuff that my children should have cleaned up and put away from a dog. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just like I keep telling them if you don't want the dog to eat it put it away I have no sympathy whatsoever if something that you leave out in the middle of the floor all night long gets stepped on gets chewed up or whatever I have little sympathy children what can you do you teach them you love them and hope that they pick a nice nursing home for you. All right. So we do have a, another sprint on, we have another sprint on the way. And yes, you gotta, Dazzle Cat, I am, if you like dry humor, you've come to the right place. If you come, love dad humor, and dad jokes, I'm here for you. <laughs> Doing dad jokes since 2001. Yeah, I'm old. The fact that, you know, I have New Zealand humor is very dry, so I love it. Oh, good. I love British humor. Um, Chris, all you leaves the chat because of dad jokes. <laughs> no, I, I love, uh, British humor and, and stuff like that. I stayed up all night trying to figure out where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Hey, Agamemnon, greatness has arrived. Welcome this morning. What? No, give me the puns. <laughs> yes. Um, my hero is uh, the dad from Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes was revolutionary in the, in the comic world. I loved Calvin and Hobbes. Yes, Scribe has fallen into the dad joke bit. It's all good. I went to a livestock auction to buy a stag, but it was too, it was too dear. I need a rim shot. I really need to get a sound effects board for rim shots for, uh, wah, 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 you know. <laughs> well, that's a fun emote, Tangerine. Tiger lull. Tiger? That's cool. I feel that Snoopy is an underappreciated genius. Yeah. The, the, the writing of comic strips, I think, is, is an art form. Okay, there we go. There is the alarm. We have one more sprint in us this morning to the top of the hour. You hear that someone threw a can of soda at the president's head? He's lucky it was a soft drink. I opened a Christmas and, and, and said, these are just the sheets of cardboard. This is an e-box. Xbox. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's from Tiger Writer. He's a fantastic entertainer. Cool. 
All right, well, let's get this last sprint going. There's the timer. Let's turn up the music. And we will turn off the mics. And away we go.
the puns are rolling fast and furious in the chat. It is awesome. Dad jokes were my revenge in the army against people with filthy humor. Scribe, you're a man after my own heart. Good job. All right. Thanks for everyone for joining us this morning for morning marches where we get work done. So how did everybody do either in that last sprint or in the entirety of the the morning? If I take a look at this, I disable this and save changes. Okay, so I think I added roughly a thousand words to my article this morning, completed multiple scenes. The, uh, but a lot of that may be the BB code that's copy and pasted over. So it's not a true count, but it's okay. 121 words last sprint. Good job, Nathalia, good job. All right, so let's just... Walking Dead Lover, thank you very much for the contribution to the 1 million lemon challenge. Uh, 212 words total for the stream, thank you. Um, Nathalia, 20, 2,305 total for the morning, excellent. You know any good dad jokes? He said, have you tried my wife's cooking? Ah, that's a little mean. <laughs> All right, Mushy, uh, Tangerine, 70 for the, 170 for the final sprint, 900 or so. <laughs> Seven lines for Dazzle Cat. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Scribe. <laughs> uh, atheism, non-profit organization. All right. Uh, camera. All right, there we go. Uh, let's get over to, I think, do I have Sable? I'll just go hit like that. Hopefully this, go like that. Okay, good. All right, so as, <laughs> okay, so thank you so much everyone for joining me this morning. Keep the puns going. We are going to raid uh, Aaron Ree at the Sable Aradia challenge. Ah, thank you, save the rest for another stream. Glad that you're here. So, okay, so, boom. Okay, James, I'll see you Friday. Still working. Thanks, Greg. All right. Yes, glad to do the sprints. Let's click the, okay. All right, the raid has been set up. And we are getting ready to go. Be, sh be sure to come back tomorrow morning for more morning sprints. I will be here tonight for some evening edits at 8 p.m. Mountain, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be all good. So thank you so much for coming by. Looking forward to seeing you more and remember to keep on writing and keep it fun. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.